Now in other news, the National Police Service Commission is seized of 47 cases of corruption against police officers. Now over 20 of them have uh, since been dismissed while others have been demoted. This is in a bid to raid the service of rogue officers. This was revealed during a consultative meeting held between senior police officials led by the Inspector General of Police, Jaffet Kome, and the Head of Public Service, Felix Koskei. Now, during that particular meeting, Koskei called on the Inspector General to develop laws that will stamp out graft among the uniformed officers. Our reporter, Abdiaziz Hashim, has details of the meeting. In a span of seven months, the head of public service, Felix Koske, has met with high-ranking government officials in a bid to deal with the ghost of corruption that has continued to haunt the public service. And today, Koske held a consultative meeting with senior police officers across the country on ways to mitigate the vice in the security sector in the wake of a report by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, EACC, that painted the NPS as the most corrupt institution. Make this meeting to be the turning point for the service and let it be the moment of truth to take the service back to factory settings. Factory settings is what you are meant to be and how you are supposed to work. Koske singled out departments within the force notorious for reaping where they did not sow. We want to see action. We don't want to see again this bribery along the roadblocks nor these policemen in piki pikis getting money from people. Inafika wakati tunasema enough na mumesikia enough is enough. Remember I told you I'm not here to point fingers but on the problem. Regional commander UP, county police commander UP, amekuja kwa ofisi ya IG unaletea kitu. Tafadhali usinilete. Si naaja mimi. Koske urged the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, to develop strategies to guide the operations of the men and women in blue that will address ways of dealing with the graft. The development of action plans for elimination of corruption in your formations. The action plans should be consolidated into the National Police Service Corruption Prefecture Plan. This, as the National Police Service Commission chairperson, Elid Kinuthia, revealed 27 officers have been dismissed from the force while four others have been demoted of a graft-related charges. The IG further cited there was special unit of the police officers who thwarted an attempted terror attack in the capital. A number of terrorist at attempts. AIG Bungay will tell you somewhere along, is it? Downtown. Yes, effort of officers were able to recover explosives. Meanwhile, the national government maintains that it will deploy 1,000 police officers to Haiti to aid in dealing with a gang that is behind political instability in the nation. The head of public service, Felix Koske, and the inspector general of police, Jafet Kome, have affirmed that the officers are ready to lead the multinational force in Haiti, despite growing calls to forego the mission and redeploy these officers to insecurity-prone areas in the country. Proudly announce to the world that Kenya will lead the humanitarian mission in Haiti, where National Police Service officers will serve as the face of the humanitarian mission. Nationally, we celebrate you. Yes, we are going to Haiti. We shall lead that mission. We have never felt even there we are going to succeed. We are going to succeed. This comes as the Presidential Task Force on Police Reforms and Catering for Their Welfare, led by none other than the former Chief Justice David Maraga, is expected to table a report before President William Ruto before it's revealed to the citizenry. Abdiaziz Ashim from the Kenya School of Government, Easy Friday.